Hey everyone, welcome to your fourth Basics of JavaScript tutorial in which we're going to discuss how you can get started with JavaScript. So essentially what happens is that when you want the browser to tell that, hey, this is not a piece of regular text, this is actually JavaScript. So you have to include it somehow. And how you do that is basically by writing an opening and closing script tag. And whatever you type inside this, is not really handled as a text. It is actually handled as a script. That means that browser will not render it as regular HTML. Just like, for example, if you write, my name is Mehul, and you write, my name is Mehul. Now, both of these texts are same. However, if you save it, you would pretty much see that uh, on reloading it, you would see that it is my name is Mehul, right? But this does not print out on the screen because browser does not know what to do with it. It expects you to write valid code inside these two script tags, right? This is one way. Another way is to basically create a, another script file. So how you do that is basically by script src, the name of your file. Let's say it is um, my script js right and you can go ahead and create my script.js file here right and now it would act as if you are writing this whole code this whole code whatever goes in here inside two script tags right so it, it is it is similar see how i did not say it is same because it is not there's, there are obvious differences between including script tag like this and writing it directly in the document, but we won't go get into that detail. More or less, you can think that it is same. Right, so um, yeah, that is basically how you would include file, your JavaScript file inside of your HTML document. And I'll see you then in the next video.